Yeah, just first, I'm just so proud of our team um, to be able to to go through the things and the adversity that we've been through this year, to continue to be resilient, to continue to fight, to continue to to put ourselves in position to get better day after day, um, and, and and still be in it for one another is is a huge credit to them, um, and a huge credit to to their belief in one another and and, and their attitude and their and using it as a challenge every day. Um, you know, we, we've continued to get better, and, and for us to be able to come in here and to, to steal a win like this is, is huge for our program. It's huge for our players' confidence, and um, I'm, I'm just incredibly grateful to be able to coach these guys every day and, and, and watch them continue to grow. Coach, you, you're probably aware this is – Vandy's first ever win in Knoxville. What what does that do for you guys at the at the end of the at the regular season, and how much is that to, to help push you forward next season? Um, I, I think it's you know it's big. You know th there there's never another first certainly, um, but there have been so many storied matchups between these two programs. Um, you know I think back to some of the ones I watched on TV back in the day, and so you know for us I think to be able to come into a tough environment. Um, to come into to a place that has so much tradition and to continue to put ourselves in position to win is huge. And today we were able to finish it. And, and that, that shows the growth process of, of, of our team is we, we can, we've been in certain positions, but today we were able to finish it. We were able to make the plays that we needed to make to finish ball games. And, and I'm just super proud of our players. Um, Coach, you kind of struggled offensively early in the game. What changed because you really got going uh, maybe towards the end of the second quarter and in the second half? Yeah, we, we did. We really struggled early. And um, I, I thought that Jordan Cambridge came in and gave us a huge lift. You know, her ability to break down the defense and make the right play was big. You know, we, we finally were able to get Foz going a little bit, get her loose, get her the ball in the move, um, and she was able to finish. Um, we, we started pushing the ball a little bit more in transition and getting some easier buckets while they were in rotation. So all of those things certainly contributed. And at the end of the day, you know, we, we made shots and, and, and fortunately we made um, enough free throws at the end of the ball game to close it out. Coach, how much did uh, Sunday's game against Mississippi State, did, was that a little confidence mm -hmm. for, you, for the team? Yeah, I think absolutely. Uh, absolutely. You know, we, we played one of the best teams in the country. Um, we played them pretty well for the most part. Um, and, 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 you know, I, I, we challenge our players every day um, to, to think about how we have competed against the top teams in our league. And, and we've been right there against most of them um, for at, at least 35 minutes. And, and, and we can put ourselves in that position. And we continue to challenge our players to, to layer execution on our effort and then to continue to gain in the toughness category. And for, to me, these last two ball games, we have been as tough as we've ever been since I've been here. Um, and and, and you got to have that toughness to play and compete and win in the SEC. Coach in the back, back here. Okay. Can you talk about what Courtney Dunbar ha has meant being a part of your program and how much was she able to maybe help you out with this specific game? And also, can you touch on Mickey and DeMoss helping you out as well? Yeah, you know, I, I think whenever you can surround yourself with, with – um, players and coaches that have been winners, it's certainly a great opportunity. You know, Courtney's been here. Um, you know, we, we, don't, we don't ask her to, to help us out with, with um, you know, things like that, just in the, in the nature of, I don't think that's right. I don't want to put her in an awkward position. But at the same time, you know, having her energy is, is huge. She's a hype man. I mean, y'all saw her. She, 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 you saw her when she played here. She's a hype man. And, and for our players to learn how to be that hype man in spite of struggles, in spite of bad days, bad games, whatever, is huge for us. Um, and and you know, I just can't say enough about Mickey. I mean, I've been trying to get Mickey to work with me for a long time. And um, Mickey is, is one of my mentors. Um, she has grown to be a, a great friend to me. And for me to have somebody like Mickey with her experience as a resource to lean on, to challenge me, um, to help me think outside the box, to help me get better every single day, to help our staff get better every single day um, is, is huge. I'm just incredibly grateful um, that, that, that she's along this year um, for this ride. Coach, um, 
the first time that you all played, they pretty much handled you on the boards. Um, you know, tonight they only had six offensive rebounds. I think that's a big part of their offense. Yeah. You out rebounded them by 12. Just what led to that change? Is how important was it to keep them off the glass and on, on the offense, uh, off the offensive glass? It was huge. Um, you know, w what led to that? I mean, the last time we played them, we really focused since then on transition defense and rebounding. Um, we, we, we don't have the biggest team, we don't have the highest jumping team, but we've been focusing on our position, really focus on, focusing on being able to push back and go get the ball. Um, and it was a point of emphasis. It was a point of emphasis. So for us to be able to, um, to handle them the way that we did on the boards was huge. And, and I just give a ton of credit to our team for buying into that. Um, you know, we challenged our guards because our posts have their hands full. I mean, they've got great, strong, physical post players, and our posts have their hands full, and our guards got in there. I mean, we challenged them to get five. Sierra got five. That was good. <laughs> get in there. Get those things. Yes, For both players, when did you get a sense that you had the game in the fourth quarter? I mean, it, at some point it looked like the air was going out of Tennessee. Just at what point were you confident in the fourth quarter that you could get out of here and – quite frankly, make history in Knoxville? Um, for me, it was really and truly at the beginning of the fourth quarter. <clears throat> I felt like our team came into the second half, especially with tons of energy and tons of competitiveness and <clears throat> didn't take any plays off. And I just felt like at the beginning of the fourth quarter, like we could come out with this win if we just kept doing what we were doing and taking care of the ball, rebounding, uh, um, getting stops on defense, just doing the little things. And I just felt like we had um, <clears throat> a lot of energy to be able to do that. Um, you know, she <laughs> mentioned everything, but uh, I think what really helped us was the energy that was brought out from every single player, because every single player was like, mattered to this win. Um, they did something that made this win possible, uh, from bench to starter to, you know, everyone. So I think coming into the second half with that type of energy, it was like, you know, you get hyped, you get in the game, you're like, we're going to win this. Like, you know, you come here and quite frankly, you know, you're like, we can make history, so what's there to lose? So, like, we were with that mentality and just got it. Coach, uh, one more game for every SEC team, mm -hmm. and then everybody heads to Greenville. This league is insane this mm -hmm. year. Literally anyone can beat mm -hmm. anyone. Are, are we in, maybe in store for a pretty entertaining SEC tournament next week? I hope so. I hope so. And, and you know, and I, I tell our players – you know, we go into these environments, these tough environments, and, like, this is fun. You, you, you go to Starkville, and it's, it's packed, and you go to South Carolina, and it's packed, and you come here, and it's packed. Like, this is what SEC basketball is all about. And, and for the first time in a long time, you're right, anybody can win on, on any given night. And so, you know, I think to, to every team wants to finish their regular season with a win and consistency and momentum going into the SEC tournament. But I think it's going to be a fun one. So if you don't have your tickets, get out there, <laughs> get them. <laughs> Thank you.